I don't care how much money I make on YouTube. If I am not happy, I am not about to film a video hella sad. You know what I mean? Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Everyone, welcome, 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 I'm back and I'm better. I'm gonna be getting ready. I'm gonna be going somewhere with my fam. By the way, I'm sorry I haven't posted in like two weeks. Not playing. It's gonna. Today marks a week that I haven't posted, and I'm hoping I'll post this video tomorrow. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready while talking to you guys. But basically, in today's video, there's a most. Oh. I don't know why there's always a mosca. I swear, there's never a mosca when I'm not filming. Like. They just want to take my spotlight, like, baby, you not, you not cuter than me. Talk to you guys, I'm gonna let you guys know the tea on being a YouTuber, alright? I am not a perfect YouTuber, as you guys know. <laughs> I think, I think we know that already. I should have gotten my thoughts together before filming this video, but I'm in a good mood right now, thankfully, because these last two days, I be having mental breakdowns, like, every night at four in the morning for no reason, like... Who gonna tell her? I did this look yesterday, and I did this look the other day, and I did purple the other day. But I am not about to do no orange, yellow, and brown. Never mind, I don't think I'm gonna do no eyeshadow. And if I do, I'll do it after I do my foundation and all that, because that's basically, that's mainly what I need to get done, you know what I mean? I wanna let you guys know why I haven't been posting, and the reason is, I just haven't been motivated. I hate saying that I haven't been motivated. But it's the truth. I am not perfect. I hella want to get on my YouTube grind. Because, y'all, once you start seeing numbers go up on that YouTube bank account, you just want to keep on posting. But money does not buy happiness, y'all. I don't care how much money I make on YouTube. If I am not happy, I am not about to film a video hella sad, you know? Y'all, don't mind my brother. He's, like, just laughing, you know? He's definitely not crying. I better post this video. If not, I'm going to be hella mad. Because I could be jamming out to some musica right now. Um... I don't know if I'm a blog. Um, I don't like blogging when I feel like I'm not going to do anything fun. Like, I can have a good day, but that don't mean I want to vlog. But I've noticed that a lot of YouTubers, like, record anything. Like, they could, like, they could be, like, they could go walk to their mailbox and they will be, like, vlog, walk with me to my mailbox. Literally, nobody has done that, but that's just an example. Like, people will vlog anything. Maybe they're just running out of ideas, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, this is going to be, like, a tip tip type of youtube video a lot of people want to start their youtube channel but they just don't know how and y'all i started my youtube channel with 70 70 subscribers not knowing anything i literally didn't know anything like i hate yeah one of my biggest pet peeves is when like people will literally start their channel and be like oh my god like i didn't know i could get paid off youtube like i did this like like girl you know damn well you could get paid on youtube i don't know why you lying like when I started my YouTube, I did not think I was going to be making hella money on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, but I did know we can get paid, but I just didn't know how, but I knew it was possible. When people start their YouTube channel, they, they just think like, oh, I'm going to just put my information and I will get paid. No, that's the complete opposite. I had to email YouTube and YouTube had to email me back. That's when I had already hit like 10K viewers and like 1K subscribers. I think that's how it is. You got to have a certain amount of viewers and a certain amount of subscribers to get paid when i was going through all this there was not one youtuber that was able to help me because all youtubers are stuck up and they don't want to tell you the real deal you don't know how many things i searched up on youtube to learn but they don't teach me i have to learn myself and literally that's how life is you always got to learn yourself because nobody in this damn world 
can never help me like or can never help you you know what i mean you gotta help yourself you gotta hit up youtube and you gotta be like hey like i hit the certain amount da -da -da -da. you gotta send them like all of your information and then that's when they will send you a confirmation code to your house i still have it actually i don't know where it's at but baby i have that saved you know what i mean because that's something to remember like damn like i remember this was the first youtube thing that ever came in the mail for me your address and all that clearly send you the confirmation code to your address it's like a little paper and then in the front it says google adsense and google adsense is where you get paid you know what i mean you're getting paid for the ads so basically um they send you that and you gotta type it into your phone it gives you like two tries and if you mess up the first time they give you another try but if you mess up the second time i don't know what happens the second time because I made sure to put it right the first time. So when you start a YouTube channel, don't think, oh, I'm about to get paid like in a week. Nah, it took like a couple, a couple weeks. Like, once I had the right, the right views and the right subscribers, it took a couple weeks for the confirmation code to come to my house. Something else I want to say is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot of people DM me every single day, like telling me like, girl, I have a YouTube channel and nobody ever sends me things like but they say it in a rude way they don't say it in a nice like hey girl like can you help me out like but no people be like i have ha i have way more subscribers than you and i have only gotten sent da -da 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 -da. like girl calm calm down like i don't know how to explain this but i'm from stockton california where people will tell you how it is you know what i mean like sorry but if you cussing me out at like 10 a.m in the morning baby i'm gonna be pressed you know what i mean and guys, my number, if you're a YouTuber or want to start a YouTube channel, make sure to put your email in your description box. That's something, that's something YouTubers do not want to tell you. They hide that. Like, YouTubers are shady, bro. Like, I just realized that. I just realized that. But we're not shady over here. We want to see everybody winning. You know what I mean? I am not. And, and be your side. If you're doing better than me, then I will clap and tell we're, we're equally or until I'm higher, you know what I mean? Like, people grow, people learn, like, I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I'm trying to say. You gotta put your email in the description box so when people, so businesses, companies, see your YouTube videos, they can go to the description box and they could press your email and email you whatever they want to send you or whatever, the collab, sponsorship, whatever it is. A lot of people don't talk about that, like, gate gatekeeping, I don't know if that's the right word to use, but they be gatekeeping the good things that that youtubers should learn you know what i mean okay um that's a tip i could give you guys is make sure to put your your email in the description box and make sure to make sure that email is um, the business email because y'all i use my email for everything and it's a bad idea because i get so many business emails and i don't even find them because i got like like 50 mcdonald's emails on the top trying to tell me like that there's a new deal you know what do you guys think you know what? I have to promote them. It's not really a choice. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but something else I wanted to talk about is specifically connected to this little topic that we're talking about. What's it called? There's a lot of businesses that expect the most from me when they're not even paying me. I've gotten paid $100 for like 30 seconds of just mentioning a business. You know, I'm not going to be getting rushed just because they got trust issues like baby trust me when i say i will promote your stuff the best i can and if you don't believe me then i don't know what to tell you because like if you have sent me something and you're watching this no girl i got you if you hit me up if you you hit me up on the gram and you say like hey girl i was wondering if you could take a picture with these lashes really quick like da -da -da -da, i got you i will be depressed on my bed but i will still get up to take pictures for y'all like that's how it be you know what i mean and i feel like a lot of people don't understand that like for example you know like i'd be doing the unboxing type of videos on be small businesses that hit me up and they're like okay i'm gonna send you some things but i want you to do a youtube channel a tiktok an instagram a snapchat all that i'm like baby i do the unboxing videos because i want to because i enjoy doing that but when i'm it's like when when there's dishes and you know you're gonna do them like i will go do them when i when i want when i want to you know but then when your mom rushes you it's just like girl i don't even want to do that no more because you're telling me like that you want me to do it now i wouldn't say i'm an influencer but sometimes people forget i'm a human being too you know i got feelings baby i got feelings i be friends i have become friends with so many small business owners because they're just cool you know they're understandable they getting that bag period you know what i mean it be honestly it be the ones with the most followers like baby you ain't even a small business at this point you're just being annoying dude i got some other cheese man tell me why there is this business 
send me jewelry and it was broken like the jewelry was ripped and then I was like, oh, hey, girl, like, the jewelry you sent me was red. Like, uh-huh, uh -huh. And then she's like, oh, girl, like, oh, I'm so sorry, but can you just post it but, like, hide that it's ripped and broken? And I was just like, who gonna tell her? Who let y'all be scammers? Mm -hmm. I remember my biggest insecurity when I was, like, in eighth grade was that I had, like, chubby arms. They're not that chubby right now. They don't jiggle that much. But, dude, my arms used to jiggle. And I remember this boy making fun of me one time. And he did this to my arms. Like, I don't know what I was doing. I was like, ha, ha. And then he was like, boy. And I was like, he did not just do that. Like, after that, I was so insecure about my chubby arms. Like, <laughs> I was, like, looking up on YouTube, like, how to, like, get skinnier arms, bro. Like, <laughs> Period. Guys, I did dye my hair finally. Pretty with little um. Should change. This is actually a really cute shirt, but I wore it to sleep. But nobody know. Nobody gotta know that I wore it to sleep. Like, uh huh. -huh. I have this that I have yet to wear. But I don't know if I want to wear it because I kind of like black. I'm feeling the color of black right now. I'm just wearing it. Whatever. All right, guys. So I put the fit on. But y'all, look at this. This is so see-through. But I mean, I can't. How am I supposed to go somewhere without calzones? Like. But now I'm going to pick out my, um. <laughs> from the treasure. Now I'm going to look for. Oh, don't mind that. Don't <laughs> Me when I'm trying to find some outfits. Oh, nah, these are not it. Mm. I think I've only worn them twice or once. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, twice. One time I wore them in LA, and the first time I wore them with with my friend to the mall. This is how the shoes look. They're very cute. Okay guys, sorry to interrupt. We were just watching, but I did receive three packages and I do wanna show you guys what I got. So let me open them. Guys, okay, so I did get this package open. This, oh, this package is from they go brats all right so this she said thank you for promoting our business we have received lots of love from many people with that being said we wanted to send you our newest lip glosses from our valentine's collection we appreciate it so much hope you enjoy these new products all right guys so this is their valentine's collection what they look like oh my goodness this is so cute okay so this is how their valentine's collection looks like they have a brownish one they have a more of a reddish type one and they have a pink one this is how this girlie's packaging looked super cute and then in the back she just had her little business card they sell lip glosses they sell keychains they sell photo keychains and they also sell custom trays slash ashtrays mm, their instagram is they go brats and their email is they go at gmail.com this is their little card right here Right, so now to the other package this one is from diva jewels on instagram and let's see what it is oh my god this is so cute okay 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 all right guys so the girlie that sent me this her instagram is diva jewels she said thank you so much for promoting me and what she sent me are two bracelets that she made herself that are handmade guys oh my all right so the initials she gave me is a m for melanie of course and an r um okay 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 look at that guys that's the cutest thing ever it reminds it gives me like valentine day vibes you know what i mean so guys you want to get your boyfriend your girlfriend a little cute bracelet for the low i'll leave the price on the screen oh my goodness that's the cutest thing ever this is just a little close-up of her bracelets oh my god don't mind my hairy arms this is the other hand it just has the little m and then this one which is my favorite has a little cross Thank you so much, babe. And she also sent me little stickers. Oh my goodness. So she sent me this little Carmex sticker. She sent me this little bus sticker or car sticker. And then she sent me this. And then she sent me this little. And then she also sent me this bracelet sticker. So as well as that, she sent me this bracelet. And I'm not sure if she made this bracelet. I'm pretty sure she did. Yeah, this is the prettiest thing ever, dude. I feel like it's very thoughtful. You know what I mean? 
Look at this. Oh my goodness. That's the cutest thing ever. Let me try it on. I gotta, I gotta be careful. I don't want it to break. Goodness. Y'all gonna be catching me. Y'all gonna be catching... Y'all gonna be catching me wearing these bracelets all the time. I freaking love them. Thank you so much, girl. Lastly, this last package. This is from one of my favorite businesses. They're just... Their glosses are just bomb. When I say bomb, it's actually bomb. But this is from Gloss Goddess Cosmetics, y'all. I literally love them. Got girlies, if you're watching this, I love both of you guys. Alright, so this is the package. Woo oh my goodness, girl. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. They sent me so many glosses. I did not expect this. Did they leave a note? They didn't even know. Alright, guys, so this is how their packaging looks. Oh my goodness. Super cute. Just in case you guys were wondering. Alright, so this gloss is called Blues Clues and it is a tropical scent gloss, if you know what I mean. And this silver one right here is called Night. Like, not Night, but like K N I G C, if you know what I mean. And this one is Peppermint Scented. This one is called a Lottery and it is Strawberry Kiwi Scented. Hold on, I want to smell this. I've never smelled a the gloss that smells like kiwi. Okay, guys, and my favorite gloss from them, only because I haven't tried those out, but this one, all right, let me show you guys. All right, so this gloss right here is, like, the first one they sent me, but look at the difference, guys. This one was almost running out for real, but yeah, this is Heart of Gold. You know, I know the name of this one. This one is Peppermint Scented, and guys, look, hold on, let me... It just smells so good. I wonder if this one's... Well, clearly it smells the same, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guys, literally, if, you, if you're if you a real one, go cop yourself a Heart of Gold lip gloss. I haven't tried the other ones, so I can't really hype them up too much. But I know those are good as well, but yeah. This one is my favorite gloss. A lot of people ask me, like, what gloss were you wearing in this pic? What gloss were you wearing in that? If I Most of the time, I have... Hold on. Do I have lip gloss on my lip? But if, if I don't have it tagged, it's most likely from Gloss Goddess Cosmetics. Okay, this one right here is called Fantasy, and it is Tutti Fruity Scented. I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what this one smells like. Oh my goodness. Huh? Oh my god, I think I got some on my nose. This one is called Fierce. And this one, I, f I feel like this one has a scent too, but she didn't tell me the scent of this one. But I feel like it smells like... I don't know what it smells like. I smell like all of them together. I don't know. I feel like the scents went in my nose. You know, I can't really scent good right now. But this is how this one looks. Oh, my goodness. Super cute. This is their name, just in case you don't know how to spell it. And then on the back, it just says... Gloss Goddess Cosmetics. Thank you for supporting our small business. Instagram, gloss.goddess.cosmetics. And their TikTok is also the same name. Yeah, this is how they look. These girlies, I love them. By the way, this business is not owned by one girlie. It is owned by two girlies. One girlie is 16 years young and the other girlie is 11 years young. Now, if you guys buy off them, make sure to send me pictures because I'm trying to I'm trying to know how good you guys look in the heart of gold scent. You know what I mean? I did get I did get maybe four other packages a couple days ago, but I didn't feel myself opening those packages because some girlies, you know, not everybody, but some girlies do rush me. Um, they do say like, hey, your package was delivered one minute ago. Why haven't you posted it on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube? Like, I do have a life, guys. I do work. I do babysit. I do do other things, not just sit on my butt all day and open up packages. You know what I mean? But it just means a lot to me to the people that have patience with me. Like, this girlie, it was delivered this morning. I didn't know that I had things in my mailbox because... These girlies did not rush me, you know what I mean? And that means a lot to me. Or like, let's say you sent me something five months ago, you know, you could always you could always text me and be like, oh, hey, girl, like, I was wondering if you could um take more pictures with my lashes, you know, things like that, you know. We are both human and we both know what's up at the end of the day, you know what I mean? I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video and yeah, I'll see you guys. Oh, why am I saying goodbye? And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Okay, so now it's time for jewelry. I'm not sure if I should wear my, my butterfly earrings. This is how it looks. I actually like their jewelry because their jewelry actually matches with my jewelry. Some jewelries be so yellow. And it just... It'd be kind of embarrassing. The fragrance I'm going to be using using is by Dossier. I actually mentioned Dossier in another video, but I just really like their perfumes or fragrances, so I'm going to put this one on. This is how this one looks. I've literally wore, I've literally put this on like maybe mm, 20 times at least and look. 
it does not go down like this will last you a very long time honestly it smells really good and the the smell is very strong so don't think you're gonna be like psh, 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 like nah baby they will smell you from a mile away trust me but yeah this is this is the scent i use i do have a code for them if you guys are interested i'll leave it on the screen but yeah there's but yeah, this smells really good. Yeah, let me show you guys my favorite for the last time. Fit check. Period. I wish I could film with natural light, but my my vanity is like on the side of my window, you know what I mean? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.